Are you thinking about selling your home but have concerns about the capital gains? Market value has been going up for a few years now and you may be looking at a big tax bill on the gain. Wouldn't it be great to apply some of that appreciation to investments after you sell your home? Today we're going to highlight a situation where you can defer taxes from the sale of your personal residence. In residential real estate, there are two IRS laws that could be used to grow wealth. The first concerns selling your primary residence, known as a Section 121 exclusion. This allows homeowners to exclude capital gains from the sale of their primary residence, up to $250,000 for single taxpayers or $500,000 for married couples who file jointly. The second law concerns selling rental property. It's known as the 1031 Tax Deferred Exchange. This allows you to defer paying capital gains taxes when you sell an investment property by reinvesting the proceeds from the sale into another property. Now there is a way you can take advantage of both of these laws. It's called the Revenue Procedure 2005-14. It allows you to take advantage of these two laws in this manner. Once you sell your home, you take the tax exemption under Section 121, and though, then you roll the remaining proceeds into an investment property under the 1031 guidelines. Now, there are two rules for this to happen. You must have lived in the property as your personal residence two out of the last five years prior to selling it. And it must have been a rental property immediately prior to the sale. Now, Eric and I are licensed real estate professionals, so we're aware of this profitable situation for our clients. However, this video is not tax advice. You need to talk with a qualified CPA or tax attorney regarding these matters. So have you moved out of your home and rented it for the last one to two years? You may be able to take advantage of this tax rule. Call us today and we could talk about your options.